What's good guys and welcome back to the Superhero Buzz, where we cover the latest in everything comic book movie related. I am your host Noah and in this video, I'm going to break down a new update for the post credit scene, including a potential No Way Home connection, and it may not be what you expected. But first, if you could, hit that subscribe button so you can get the latest buzz and everything comic book movie related. This will also qualify you for my new giveaway. So watch till the end of the video for the rest of those details. Anyways, there's quite a bit to unpack, so need to say more? Let's dive right in. I broke down a leaked description for the post credit scene, which turned out to be 100% real. So if you don't want any spoilers, you may want to turn away now. I certainly don't want to ruin the movie for you, but if that's not the case, feel free to continue watching. We now have the leaked audio, which also lines up to the description. Now for obvious reasons I can't show it. Sony is ruthless when it comes to copyright strikes, but I do want to talk about what I heard. And with that in mind, let's dive right in. The TV turns on. We then hear the voice of Joe Jonah Jameson. It's the same clip we saw in the No Way Home trailer, where he's framing Peter for the death of Mysterio. In other words, calling him a menace. We then hear Venom say, he looks tasty, Eddie. We then hear him lick the screen. Then it cuts to black, which inherently confirms the MCU connection. But I found another detail I want to talk about, which would connect the two franchises. The audio revealed the time frame for the film, which appears to be during No Way Home. I know this might be confusing, but let me explain. Eddie's based in San Francisco, while Peter's based in New York City, hence why they haven't met yet. Maybe this will encourage Eddie to go to New York in order to investigate Peter. And considering the Eddie Brock report, he's an excellent journalist, so this would make a lot of sense. Which brings me to my next point. What if Jameson is the key? We know he has a crucial role in No Way Home, and he'll apparently have a cameo in Let There Be Carnage, hence where the connection comes in. What if he hires Eddie to investigate Peter? Because after he proves his innocence in No Way Home, he'll need to get more dirt on him in order to prove he's a menace, and Eddie would be the right man for the job, thereby alluding to an MCU connection and potentially a Spider-Man crossover. According to a new interview with director Andy Serkis, he recently confirmed that Venom will meet Spider-Man. In his exact words, of course it will happen. So who do you think will win the fight? Now personally, I can't wait for this. We know they're going to cross paths at some point, though how soon is the bigger question. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened in Venom 3, which is already in early production. Or maybe they'll save it for their own standalone film. A Spider-Man vs Venom film would be pretty epic, but don't expect Venom to be in no way home. But I guess only time will tell. Having said that, what are your thoughts on this? And are you excited for Let There Be Carnage? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Now let's get into the giveaway details. I'll be giving away the first exclusive Superhero Buzz t-shirt that is now available in all sizes. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time.